How are you, Mark? What's going on today? I am fantastic today. We've got a great recipe for you, fish sliders. We're going to make a classic tartare sauce and we're going to do some pickled cucumber and that's what I'm going to do right now. So I've just got some uh, vinegar in the pot. I'm just going to bring it up to the boil with the sugar. So equal, plot, equal pots. Just bring it up to the boil so you dissolve the sugar. Uh, and then you want to turn it off and then we're going to pour it over our cucumber. So a few different ways you can do your cucumber. You can know, do nice slices or nice ribbons. And uh, that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to do some ribbons. So I'm just going to peel a little bit of the green off and then start going down so you get these beautiful little thin strips. So I'll get a few of those in the bowl and then you know, use all the cucumber, go all the way around. Just keep an eye on that pickle, so it's just starting to come up to the boil now. Just give it a good stir. Just make sure that sugar is dissolved. So we'll give it a little bit longer. Make sure you've got a nice bit of pickle. And uh, I'm going to come back a little bit later and I'm going to show you how to make that tartare sauce. So it's a classic French sauce, really easy. And then we'll cook the fish as well. So the pickle's just dissolved over there. Give it about five minutes and it is ready to go. Mark, fish sliders, what have you done already? Because I missed you right at the start. I was concentrating on something else. So. Oh. <laughs> right, so we just pickled our cucumber. So just get the vinegar, um, just bring it up to the bowl with the sugar and then just tip it over some finely sliced cucumber and yep. then that's pickled. So it's just going to loosen up. You still have a nice crunch and you'll have that nice sort of pickled uh, flavour in there which is going to help cut through the tartare sauce. Okay, so he's going to show us how to make our own tartare sauce very soon, which I'm really excited about. But right now... This is the next stage. You're getting our fish sliders ready. What are we up to? Right, so we're going to make the tartare sauce now. Okay, nice. <laughs> so, <laughs> so really, really easy. Um, you know, if you, yeah, it's really easy to make mayonnaise as well. So you can uh, make your own mayonnaise, keep it in the fridge, so a plain base, and then you can just add loads of ingredients to it. You know, put wasabi through there, mustard through it, um, all these ingredients, and make your own tartare sauce. Um, or you can just buy it if you want. Right. I think it's nice of making it yourself though, because then you get to control the flavour, haven't you? Yeah, exactly, exactly, which is great. So I've just got, uh, just got a few spoonfuls in there, and I've just got some gherkin in there, just sort of starting to dice up. Right. So it's all about texture, and it's all about sort of pickles as well, just, just balancing that sort of mayonnaise. So this is a classic sauce as well, you know, where you get fish and chips, you know, your tartare sauce. I've never Beautiful. heard of gherkins in tartare sauce, though. Is this your little secret? Uh, no, it's in the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I in the Maybe kitchen? Maybe not in store-bought ones. <laughs> You're true. But when Maybe we make it at home... Why do you think fish sliders have all of a sudden become popular? Because it's not just fish sliders, it's sliders all over the place. Oh, definitely. It's, uh, well, it's just one of those sort of cool things, isn't it? You know, look at these buns. I mean, they just look awesome anyway, you know, it doesn't matter what you put in there. And then obviously fish ones, uh, you know, it's just, it's just nice and pan frying it is just a lot he uh, less heavy than, um, you know, battered fish. And you've got the perfect bite size really, haven't you? For yeah, exactly. Flavors. So you have to put it all in your mouth at once, which is why I need four. So I'm pleased yeah. you've got four here well, today. <laughs> you have to fight over it with Mel. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> right, so we've got some shallots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. shallots in there, a little bit of parsley as well. Yeah. So uh, gherkin, shallots, parsley. Yeah, and then we've got some capers as well. So we're going to uh, oh, just nice. pop the capers in. So if you get these mini capers here, just pop them straight in. You can leave them whole. It's nice to have that texture in there. And then a little bit of lemon juice and a little bit of salt. And then it's always a good idea just to taste it. But you can see that, you can see how chunky it is, you know. It's just using that mayonnaise to bind it, you know. You want, you want texture. It doesn't want to be like sort of caked in mayonnaise. That right. incredible. I'm going to start the fish now as well. Okay, cool. I'm taking control of your kitchen, Mark. Y you're cooking again? Yeah, I'll, I'll cook. I'm good with fish. I'm really good. You can't burn fish, can you? <laughs> <laughs> salmon, Everyone salmon, loved. apparently. Oh, you're yeah, true. Oh, don't bring that up. It was weeks ago. <laughs> okay. Right, so basically, just get your fish. So, you just go to your fishmonger. This is, um, it's been skinned and boned as well. So, just going to cut down there and just release the two fillets. And then you just want to sort of cut them the sort of same size as your slider buns. Okay. You know, and we'll just get some nice, uh, you know, couple of, uh, if there's a nice big piece, you can put one piece in there, or you can cut, uh, put a couple of pieces in there if you want. And then nice hot pan, non-stick pan, a little bit of olive oil. Just let that oil warm up. Okay, another great tip. And shake it around and then pop the fish in there. So you've got two sides to the fish. So you've got the skin side here and then you've got the top side. So this is the side closest to the bone and this is what we call the presentation side. Okay. Okay, so that's, gonna, that's the side you want to cook first and get that nice beautiful caramelization on there. And then we'll flip it over. Oof, there you go. Yum. 
I'm so excited. This isn't taking us a very long time either, really, is it? No, no, this is, this is like literally really fast. So we're just going to start cooking the fish. Um, a little bit later, I'll show you the, uh, the beautiful colour, what you can get on the fish, and then we're just going to finish it with a little bit of butter and lemon juice just to finish the dish, and then we'll just build the sliders. And I'm also going to toast the sliders as well, just right at the last minute, just to make them nice, soft and sort of crunchy on the mm -hmm. outside. It's going to be fantastic. OK, the perfect meal, and if you want to try it, it's easy to find. Just go to thecafe.co.nz. All the recipes are there. Can I just say, you have not let us down once, Mark, since we've been <laughs> on here. Everything you have made has been spectacular. I want four of those sliders. Four, please. Four. Four. <laughs> what about Mel? Okay. Yeah. I shall live. OK, right. <laughs> I'll look after your fish. We'll come back here very soon and find out what's going on in the kitchen. Over to you, Mel. Thank you so much, guys. And I will not live. I want four sliders as well. <laughs> I love Mike in the kitchen. What's the green stuff in there? Gherkins, Mike. It's always been gherkins and tartia sauce. We're nearly finished now. So we've got yeah. beautiful colour. On the fish, a little bit of butter in the pan just to glaze it and finish off. And a little bit of lemon juice. And that's it. Really fast to cook. See that with some salt. Just toasted some buns here. And then we are ready to build. So a nice chunky tartare sauce. What's in there? Oh, the <laughs> gherkins, surprisingly. I didn't know, no. Someone was just telling me in the air break that apparently gherkins and all tartare sauce. I am not. Even the store bought <laughs> ones. I, mean, I thought the green stuff was the tartare or something. <laughs> <laughs> Am I just digging myself a bigger hole? <laughs> OK, cool. Right, and then we're going to pop our fish on there. Oh, it smells oh, like great. Nice to yeah. either get a re one really thick uh, slice, or if it's small fish, you know, do a couple of slices there. And then the pickled cucumber. So we're mics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yeah, that looks incredible. Oh, bring them over. Push sliders then for dinner tonight. Pop the lids on. I'm not saving mine, honey. <laughs> and there bring you go. Here, Mark. There we go. Oh. Look at that. Uh, if I do say so myself, they look pretty awesome. Oh, they, they do. do. They look incredible. <laughs> okay, you can see the full recipe online at thecafe.co.nz.